fast entry into the hairpin around this big, big left hand of the first part of the hairpin. And then don't use too much road because you need to be tipping in. If you cross on the right there, you'd have to enter the airpin too slow. You're tipping in from about here, about half track. Second gear, making all the way back to the late apex there, and then drifting out, not getting too far out to the left because you've got this left-hander as you accelerate right up, full revs in every gear, right up, and onto the, the fastest part of the circuit, the long straight, before we break again for paddock bend. It's a circuit you've really got to think about your lines and really got to think about your positioning on the track. Braking heavily now for Paddock Bend, going across the left-hand side of the circuit and then chuck it in from here, make the apex about here and then open smoothly on the throttle, open the throttle and then out towards the exit point there. Right, how do you find that? I mean, that's really, really slow, but that's the lines you want to be taking. Yeah. And it is difficult because to get good lines, you really need the speed because the speed puts you in certain parts of the track. And when you're going really slow, you could be on any part of the track. You can do whatever you want. If you're going really slow, you can just do a U-turn, which if you're going dead quick, you obviously can't. But you can already see that you, a corner, you can make a corner a lot quicker just by getting the correct line. It's about getting a braking marker, a turning point, an apex point, and an exit point. You'll get quicker just by getting the correct line, you'll go quicker than you think. And you'd be amazed how many people initially on track just have completely the wrong line. They come out of a corner and they're making a big effort to stay on the wrong side of the track. Well, if you just let it run, it's a lot less effort to go a lot quicker. You felt happy with the line you were following? Well, that, that's the only, that's the one that I've just got to sort out the most is, 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 the, is the, double, the double chicane. I mean, the hairpin, I was, I was a bit sort of like dubious about that, but I feel a lot more confident about that. And could you relate what I was saying when we walked round yeah, to yeah, what we were doing yeah. then? Right. No, that so. really put it all into perspective for me, really. Yeah. Adam, what about you? Yeah, all right. It's, it's a really, really cute little circuit. I've yeah. got caught out on the bottom straight a couple of times with the crosswind. Yeah, yeah. Because well, it feels it's yeah. quite similar to losing the back or losing the front. You get kind of like vague some sort of sensation. Yeah, there is, and especially going through that first little double chicane mm. that, that uh, Mark was saying. You, it'll, it turns right going into it, easy, it just flops down yeah, right. But and trying to get up. it left, you just didn't want to come over, that's yeah. just crosswind. That's yeah, all it is, amazing. it's right on the front of the bike there. Really amazing. I've got to get my gears right, really. I think that's going to be my main bugbear today, because getting choosing the right gears. Yeah. I'm, coming down there, I'm trying to watch what gears you're changing down into and sort of follow you when you're braking and looking at your gear change and then and blowing a, it out. Especially for you, you kind of biggish, which and it's only small bikes, yeah. 600s ain't got the power that the R1's got, or maybe the G6000 or whatever, any of the one litre bikes have got enough power, so we'll go through all that. Yeah. One, they're learning the circuit. Let's see what they've taken in from what I've told them already. Right, that's Carl and that's Adam. Yeah, not very much actually. Carl's learned nothing. See, he apex it too early and it was a little bit quick mid corner and it ran him right up under that bank in there, which meant he had to nearly stop to get around the next left. That's look at Mark. Mark's better. That line's actually a lot better. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Steady, but the line was better. And he'll, he'll find that as it builds up, that that'll, that's the line he'll want to be on. He's already on it, but he just needs to get quicker. Looking at now, day one, Mark's got the most improving to do, but he's listening. So I think I think at this point he'll improve most. Carl's a quick rider, you can see that. But see how he's see how he's gone right out there. That and he's had to make it. That isn't a, it's not a brilliant round, line around this corner. But he can already ride a bike. So, however, he's not got as much improving. There isn't as much improvement he can do. That's steady. He's turning at the right point. That's good. That's good for him. Nice. From where he's at now, I'd say he's probably got, he certainly has got more potential to improve because he's starting off from a low level. Right, crap that. Right, Mark, you first. 
The worst thing is you look really tense on the bike. You look really, really not scared, but kind of like you don't know what to do with your body position. You're not relaxed. You're not, you're not flowing at all. That'll come. You're actually lying around the corner. Absolutely brilliant. Really good. Slower than these two because you're starting off from a sort of lower experience position. Yeah. But the line were brilliant. You actually th you took in exactly what I've said. You went in from a, almost the inch that I told you to turn in. You went right to the apex, the perfect place, and you came out good. Once you do get quick, it'd be natural because you'd be coming out of the corner thinking, oh, Christ, I should be over there. But at the minute, you really want to, you have to make that effort to sort of not just open throttle when you know you can because as your sort of speed builds up, you will need to be on that line, not just want to be on that line like you are now, you need to be on it. Carl, you can just tell you've done a lot of riding. You just, you can hear you winging down the box, whack it in the corner, knee on the deck and straight round. But mm. you're that fast mid corner, you're kind of almost mounting the banking yeah. coming out. As you tip it in, you're opening, you, you sort of breaking, turning and cracking the throttle straight away so it's kind of driving round. Yeah. You want to just, like half a second just waiting for it and being a bit patient it'll point you that extra sort of five degrees further around and that'll make your apex late and that'll give you when you're running out of here trying to get the power on it means you'll be here more straight up getting the power on and you're then trying to get back across and you won't you'll be you have a lot better line so you just need a little bit of patience adam you need to stop looking at carl mm. and think about what you're doing yourself when you did it on your own the last lap you went around really quick but you you, di you didn't have any concept of w what an apex was. You yeah. just kind of got to mid corner, whacked on its side, and went dead fast around right around the middle of the track, yeah. as if you were just following the shape. If somebody drawn a line right down the centre of the track, yeah. that's what you followed. You've got to start picking a point. Get a pick a point that you're happy with to get back to on that inside, and then sort of accelerate from there. Yeah. Apart from that, I mean, you've all got bad points and good points. I think I've made a little bit of a <laughs> progression. Um, basically, when I first come on, it's quite um, overwhelming. When you first come on, they certainly go, oh, God, we're really here, you know. Got me rid of my bad habits. So it's, it's good. Still got a long way to go, so a lot to learn. But uh, so far, so good. I did the classic thing which I said I wasn't going to do this morning, which was I wasn't going to chase somebody around the track, which is exactly what I ended up doing, which is really, really stupid. It was a waste of time. Overall, really, <laughs> there's everything to improve on. Um, just basically concentrating on what we were doing today, just the lines. I'm too eager to get on the gas as soon as I get come out of the corners. I'm too eager. Got to be more 20, 30, 40% power out. Just more, more fluid, blowing more, rather than being all over a place and erratic. Carl's understanding of the circuit is probably not what you'd think watching him going round because he didn't seem that bothered about learning the circuit. He was more bothered about just going quick. But there's no doubt he'll have learned it a little bit. We've done a few laps. Uh, and he, he's not frightened, which means he will, he'll, learn it, he'll learn it pretty well once he settles down and stops trying to break the lap record the first time he goes out. I was compromising learning through not learning by chasing Carl around the track, which was great, smart move, well done. Adam, again, he seemed more bothered about getting his knee down and following Carl uh, than he was about actually listening what I told him about the lines. And we only actually looked at the lines around two corners and he didn't seem to <laughs> take any of that in at all. Although, he would lean the bike over and his mid-corner speed was fairly good. It's just his mid-corner line was wrong. Following uh, James round and the other lads are really fast, like, you know, in comparison with me. But uh, James puts a lot of confidence in you and um, Follow around slowly, gradually, confidence built up, you know, and uh, now I'm really like, you know, looking forward to the next few days. Mark, who has the least experience of all three, uh, and has done, actually, when you talk to him, he's done very little on bikes at all. He's only recently got into, into motorcycling. Uh, listened and did exactly what we were told, although not so quick because he just, he's, you know, he's not up to speed on leaning the bike over, body position. Uh, breaking points, etc., etc. They've all got an understanding of what we're trying to achieve uh, and where the circuit goes. You know, they know what, what, when the next corner's coming. So it's, uh, it's only going to get better from here, I hope.